good morning dear students i welcome you all to this class we will start our lesson of english 2 from the very first chapter of unit 1 that is every child is free to be a child first you think of this what does this mean every child is free to be a child are all the childs getting all the necessities amenities in their life by comparing to you you can see in your society in your neighborhood many are not going to school many are forced to work so kala satyarthi who is a nobel peace prize awardee he fought against this that every child should enjoy their life should have the right of education should learn he should right to live right to equality right to safety everything a child should get so he was a social reformer first we will learn about kala satyarthi as you can see in this chapter his name is mentioned everywhere okay that he is a social reformer child right activist okay so first we will learn about that who is kala satyarthi about kala satyarthi he was born on 11th january 1954 he is an indian social reformer who campaigned against child labor in india in 2014 he was the co recipient of the nobel peace prize along with malala yousafzai for their struggle against the suppression of children and young people and for the right of all children to education he is the founder of multiple social activists organization including bachpan bachao andolan global march against child labor global camping for education first what do you mean by reformer a reformer a reformer is someone who tries to change and improve something such as laws or a social system so now <coughs> we should think about this that why kala satyarthi wanted to work for the child there was one incident in his life which provoked him to work in this instance to do something for the child so that they can have the right to education right to safety right to freedom right to life so when he was very small okay on the his first day of the school satyarthi saw another kid about his age working as a shoe shine boy or you can say cobbler instead of attending class it disturbed him so much that one day he gathered the courage to ask the boy's father okay that boy's father a cobbler boy's father why he didn't send him to school the answer le- left an indelible mark on satyarthi the mark that cannot be removed from his mind mark on satyarthi he told me okay that father of that boy replied to kala satyarthi that you are born to go to school the father of that cobbler boy is referring to kala satyarthi that you are born to go to school you belong to a very good family to a very prosperous family okay but we are born to work he uh, it was a shock for me so now kala satyarthi is saying that it was a shock for him he was born kala satyarthi was born into a high caste indian family okay and in that family what he learned okay when he get to know that uh, when he got to know about the uh, cobbler's boy father saying that they are born to work so he started crying thinking about that okay that i did not know about the caste system and the discrimination associated with it but i started looking at it at the world with different eyes and i began questioning it because it wasn't right 
so mm -hmm. let us begin with the chapter over 50 50 years ago on the first day that incident what i told earlier now it is mentioned in your book also over 50 years ago on the first day of my school i met a cobbler boy my age okay that cobbler boy was of his age only okay he was also a shy I met a cobbler boy my, of my age sitting outside the gate of my school. I asked my teacher. First he asked his teacher, mm -hmm. why is he working outside? Why he is not with us in a school? Okay, he asked a question to his teacher that why the boy is working outside and he is not inside the school with him sitting next to him or studying in the school. My teacher had no answer. One day, I gathered the courage to ask the boy's father the same question. So he went to the cobbler, cobbler boy's father okay, to ask the same question. He said, Sir, I have never thought about it. We are born to work. His answer made me angry. It still makes me angry. As a child, I had a vision of tomorrow. A vision of that cobbler boy sitting with me in my classroom. This very incident changed his mind. He started thinking for working something for the child so that they can come to school. He had the vision. Okay, he was thinking about the future. He was thinking that the cobb cobbler's cobbler boy could come to school and sit next to him. Now that tomorrow has become today, okay, now that tomorrow has become today, he is saying like that because now he had started various moments like Bachpan Bachao Andolan, various campaign, okay, to identify those children, liberate them and rehabilitate them, okay, to bring to back to them to the society and live happily mm -hmm. today it's time for every child to have a right to life right to freedom right to health right to education right to safety right to dignity right to equality and right to peace said kalash satyati in his nobel peace prize acceptance speech in 2014 kalash satyati born in 19 154 in the Vidisha district of Madhya Pradesh is the best known child right activist in the country. Activist, what do you mean by activist? A person who takes action to cause social or political change to do some to do regarding the welfare of the society to change something, some norms, usually as a member of a group. Report says that he has freed more than 80,000 children from the bonded labor. The In bonded labor, children or people are used to work forcibly. Forced work for an employer for a fixed time without being paid, often as a way of paying debt. Satyate studied electrical engineering and obtained a postgraduate diploma in high voltage engineering. He taught in a college in Bhopal for few years before dedicating himself to the life of advocacy against child labor and child servitude. Advocacy means the giving of public support to a course of action or a belief. The tireless campaigner of children's rights established the Bachpan Bachao Andolan or you can say that in short form BBA in 1980 with a vision to end the problem of child labor. He wanted to end the child labor like the person, uh, small small children you can see working in uh, some hotels or um, you can see at in some homes also 
द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सून बिकेम अ मास मोमेंट मास मोमेंट मीन्स वेरियस पीपल विद द सेम काइंड ऑफ थाट दे जॉइंट विथ हिम ओके फॉर द सेम कॉज दैट आइडेंटिफाइड आइडेंटिफाइड दे पिकड आउट द चिल्ड्रेन ओके वेर दे आर फोर्स टू वर्क दे लिबरेटेड ओके दे फ्रीड दैम मेड दैम फ्री फ्रॉम द फोर्स लेबर एंड रिहेबिलिएटेड रिहेबिलिएटेड मीन्स हेल्प चिल्ड्रेन टू लीव अ नॉर्मल लाइफ एज दे वेर लिविंग प्रीवियसली ओके बिफोर जॉइनिंग दैट फोर्स लेबर ओके हेल्प चिल्ड्रेन टू लीव अ नॉर्मल लाइफ आफ्टर रेस्क्यूइंग दैम एंड एजुकेटेड चाइल्ड लेबरर्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री इट हैज लिबरेटेड एटी टू थाउजेंड चाइल्ड लेबरर्स टू डेट एंड कंटिन्यूज टू वर्क टू रिहेबिलिएट एंड एजुकेट दैम back when the organization was formed the issue of child labor was not widely dis- discussed in public those were challenging time for bba when satyarthi led rescue mission for children and other working in bonded labor or you can say forced labor in manufacturing industries he was attacked several times okay several times people used to attack on him but this made him more determined toward him towards his goal those incidents of violence also strengthened his resolve to continue with his work bachpan bachao andolan's effort has also led to the framing and implementation of very important legislation or you can say law very important law on the issue of child labor in india like the child labor Prohibi- prohibition and regulation act of 1986 which includes a ban on child labor till the age of 14 okay his movement his various andolans okay various campaigns led him uh, to the formation of new legislation in which it is said that there is a prohibition and regulation act of 1986 in which it includes the ban total ban of the child labor till the age of 14 till the children when they are till the age of 14 they can't be forced to work as a labor anywhere satyarthi also helped in coordinating the historical global march against child labor in 1998 The march took place across 103 countries and culminated in an international ban on child labor. Okay, so internationally, international, not in your nation only, but internationally, the child labor was banned. The children who marched with Satyarthi in 1998 were his inspiration. he has often mentioned because they were so selfless energetic committed to the end, ending all forms of child exploitations not surprisingly kalas satyarthi has only one goal in life which is he passionately highlighted in his nobel prize acceptance speech when he was awarded with the nobel peace prize award mm-hmm. in that very speech regarding the acceptance of the award he gave one speech because the sole aim sole aim that he carries all through his life that my only aim in life is that every child is free to be a child like the topic same thing okay my only aim in life is that every child is free to be a child free to grow and develop free to eat sleep and see daylight free to laugh and cry free to play and learn free to go to school and above all free to dream like whereas other children who come from enjoying their life they are leading their life happily okay he wanted all those children who are deprived of that they also come out from their circumstances and try to live life in a best possible manner his sole aim was that 
that every child should come up with all the difficulties to bring up them to bring them up from all that kinds of difficulties of forced labor trafficking for everything from everything okay and they will be able to get education they are free to like uh, laugh they are free to cry free to play learn dream and free to enjoy their life happily thank you